In this video, we are going to see static structural analysis of a shaft system torsion in ANSYS workbench. So, we are taking example of shaft system torsion analysis. The material used is structural steel and the boundary condition is that we have a torsion movement is acting in one side of 10,000 Newton mm and fixed support on other side. We are going to calculate the total deformation and equivalent stress for the global assembly as well as for the individual parts. Let's start the analysis. So first of all, we are going to add static structural system. Now we are going to import the geometry. We'll right click here and go to import geometry, browse the model, select the model and open it. Now we'll directly go to the model. So here at bottom, you can see our mechanical windows open. The model will take little time to load. So here our model loaded successfully. Now we are going to de define all the details one by one. So let's define the geometry. So in the geometry, the material that I have to take that is structural steel. So we are not going to change any of the material for this part. Now next, we are going to define the connection for the body. So here we can see the contacts. So here you can see the part body like this will be your contact body and this will be the target body where it will be in contact. So initially all the contacts are in bonded type, but these are not welded with each other. So we are going to change the contact type. First of all, I'm going to change the names. So I'll right click here and go to rename based on definition. Now we are going to select all the contacts. We'll select this first and press shift button and select the last contact. Uh, we're going to change the contact type to no separation. Now we are going to generate a mesh for the body. So initially we'll take uh, like mesh and define some mesh. I'm taking 5 mm mesh for whole body and Let's generate a mesh. Let's refine this part more uh, the center part. I'm going to apply a sizing method I'll select this body by using body filter Apply and defining the mesh of like 2 mm here and regenerate the mesh So this is a critical part. So we need to be more better results. We want to see here. So we meshed more finer now We'll define the boundary condition over this part. We'll define fixed support. This side. Apply. And now we are going to define torsion for this part. We'll define moment. We'll select this face. And we'll go for the component. We'll define in X direction 10,000 Newton mm. Enter. Now uh, we are going to define what results we need to calculate. I am putting here. I want to see the total deformation and I want to calculate the one mice stresses and solve. Right now the results that we are calculating that we are calculating for whole assembly. If you want to calculate for a particular component, we will define for a particular component as well. We are going to see that. First we will see for the global part. So here we can see the total deformation over this body. And we can see the equivalent stress. That is 92.86 megapascal. Now, if you want to calculate for a particular component, we can define like I want to see the total deformation for this body. I'll just apply here and I want to calculate stress also for this body. Apply and solve. So, here we can see the result for individual part. We can see the maximum minimum props where we have maximum results and minimum results condition and we can see the stresses where is the maximum stress over this part body now like if i want to see for other components we can select other component like that i want to calculate for this part let's choose this part and i want to calculate my total deformation and equivalent stress For this particular part, and we'll solve. So here we can see the result on this part and deformation over that part, and we can notice the stresses over this body. So this is how you can also calculate an assembly for individual part as well, and globally also you can check it out your results. 